Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about the eight different benefits of probiotics, okay? Number one, probiotics help you support your immune system. They provide a major defense against pathogens. Uh, people that take antibiotics kill off their normal friendly bacteria, which is called flora. And what happens, it leaves you open to getting secondary infections and creating all sorts of abnormal overgrowths of yeast and fungus that shouldn't be there. So we need these friendly microbes to help us defend. And I'm not just talking about friendly bacteria. I'm talking about friendly funguses, friendly yeast, and even friendly mold. When you wipe out any of these different friendly microbes, you can then get an overgrowth of that microbe which can actually grow in the wrong place, like on your toenails, as a fungus, mold, even in your hair, or on your mouth. And so that's really what happens. But these microbes live on fiber. So the fiber that you consume is digested by these microbes because you don't have the enzymes to break down the fiber. Number three, they make beneficial acids. Now you probably think in your mind, wow, acids are really bad, but they're beneficial acids that your body needs. One being lactic acid. And so if you were to consume sauerkraut or kombucha tea, for example, or even yogurt for that matter, or kefir, it has something called lactic acid. The problem is so many people are sensitive to the dairy and sometimes this, these dairy products come with a package because they have hormones. So there are non-dairy sources of lactic acid. But the point is that lactic acid is really important in defense mechanisms to allow the pathogens not to grow. Your body can withstand the lactic acid, but the pathogens don't like it and they basically are inhibited with lactic acid. Lactic acid is also necessary to help with the pH and the absorption of certain minerals in, in the digestive tract. Then we have the friendly butyric acid, which is a friendly acid that feeds your colon cells. It helps lower your blood sugars. It helps insulin resistance and it helps you decrease inflammation. Okay, number four, it helps you make vitamins like biotin, like the other B vitamins, even B12 or vitamin K. So without these microbes, you can be deficient in certain B vitamins. Number five, they actually help you recycle bile. What is bile? Bile's the detergent that helps you break down the fats. It's stored in the gallbladder, but it's recycled through the intestines by the microbes. If there's not enough microbes, you will not reabsorb the bile, you will lose bile, and then you'll actually be bile deficient. And that can lead to a whole chain reaction of deficiencies of vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K2, and, and many, many other problems, even a deficiency of um, omega-3 fatty acids. Number six, detoxification. Microbes are involved in the detoxification of chemicals and poisons in the body. So if you don't have as many friendly microbes, you're not gonna have the full capacity of keeping the toxins at a minimum level in your body. Number seven, probiotics can act as antioxidants in your body. So antioxidants basically help neutralize free radicals, which are atoms that are, have unpaired electrons that can create um, too much reactivity or oxidation in the body and create damage. Like, like just picture it like something rusting out. Well, antioxidants come in there and stabilize that free radical to add another electron to make it more stable. And lastly, probiotics can help make your bowel movements very regular, okay? So if you have constipation, you need probiotics. So a few years ago, I carried my own probiotic, which is a very unique blend of effective microbes, okay? But I had to discontinue it because I had a really difficult time getting it. So I recently found a way of getting it back because I had a lot of demand for this product and I put a link down below so you can check it out. But I wanted to quickly differentiate what this product is compared to other probiotics. Number one, it's a non-dairy probiotic. It does not come from milk. It was developed by a Japanese scientist, okay? And it has something called effective microbes. What does that mean? It's a blend of bacteria, friendly yeast, friendly fungi, and lactic acid bacteria. All of these microbes coexist in one solution as a very broad spectrum probiotic. So you start out taking a half a teaspoon and mix it with maybe one ounce of water, drink it right before you go to bed. So all night long, it's actually growing and fortifying uh, the digestive tract. 
And what's cool is the stomach acids do not kill off these microbes. They're able to survive the stomach acids. So if you're interested, go ahead and click the link below and check it out. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.